All right, we've got our soil sample kit, and today we are going to test different areas. I think we've got eight different areas that we're gonna test the soil with our little at-home kit, and um, we're going to, we've separated it into different sections that we're gonna test, and we also have different little Ziploc baggies that we will be putting each sample in. And then we have to let it dry out for several hours or overnight. Um, so we'll probably be doing the actual test tomorrow. But today we're going to collect the samples of soil. The first area we're going to test is where our garden is going to be. And that is right behind me. It is um, kind of right in front of the houses. So here's the guest house behind me there and then our the main house is over there. Um, but our garden area is gonna be in this section. There's a burn pile just over there that the former owners decided to burn all their trash and stuff that they didn't want. So there's tons of like metal and plastic stuff. We still have to try to pick all that up. It's hard because it's, um, it's kind of like compacted in the ground now. Um, but we're gonna test this area first and then we'll move on to the next section. So this area in our roundabout um, by our driveway, I was thinking of maybe doing like an orchard or some fruit trees there since we have a big empty space. We've got some big magnolia trees right here, but I was thinking that this might be a good area to plant some fruit trees. I don't know, we'll see. So we're just gonna test this area and see what the soil's like. All right, so we're gonna do um, four different samples in our pasture area because it's so big. So we're just gonna break it up into four different areas. Next we have the barn and we're going to test this side pasture and after that we'll be testing what we call the back pasture which is back there behind the house. So back pasture, side pasture. Found Steve taking apart fences as usual. How deep are you guys digging? It said to do two to three inches. Oh, that's it? Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? Getting bit by the... Yeah, put long sleeves By on. the uh, blackberry bushes? Yeah, blackberry and the poison ivy. It was all intertwined in the... In the, uh, the poison ivy was? The welded wire. And yeah. the blackberry? Yeah. Fun times. Like that blackberry bush. I'm gonna have to get the tractor to yank. This is all disconnected, but I can't yank it out because it's intertwined within that blackberry bush and the blackberry bush um, root system. I mean, it'll go 20 feet out there. Oy. So getting them out is just awful. So here's our back pasture. We've got a pond over there. And the frisbee has chosen right the back over pasture here. with our little forest area. Good job, Chris. And then the yeah, house, the, the right main place. house is right there. We gathered soil samples from eight areas and let them dry out overnight. We had to push them through a like a fine mesh strainer so that you get an even sample size. And now it is time to test them. So let's go ahead and open up this soil testing kit. So uh, it comes with a lot of different things. Got some test tubes, got the solutions that you test it with, and also of course instructions. So we'll get started. The first thing it says to do is Fill the test tube to four milliliters with the pH indicator. All right, let's do that. Okay. All right, 
right now use the 0.5 gram spoon this is it and add three measures of soil sample okay cap and mix gently for one minute I'm gonna assume that was around one minute. So now we just need to let it sit for 10 minutes for the soil to settle. Now we're going to move on to the phosphorus test. So that was the pH test. Now we're gonna move on to the phosphorus test. So we're gonna take a test tube, fill it to six milliliters with phosphorus solution. Uh, nope, not that. Here it is, phosphorus extracting solution. We're going to fill to six milliliters. Okay, use the same spoon, add three measures of soil sample. Cap and mix gently. While that's settling, we'll do the nitrogen test. It's nitrogen extracting solution, yep, all right. Now we're going to fill to seven milliliters. All right. Add two measures of soil. One. Two. Remove cap and allow soil to settle. Now we will do the potassium test. Okay, fill test tube to seven milliliters with potassium extracting solution. Each of these bottles is 120 milliliters, so you'll be able to do several tests with this. That's why we got this kit. All right, remove cap and allow soil to settle. So we've got all of our little test tubes and we are going to wait and allow the soil to settle, which it already mostly is on the first couple, um, and then we'll continue the test. So the kit comes with this handy color guide and we're going to use this to match the color in the test tubes to um, you know, what amounts we have of each of the different pH, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. So here's the color on our pH test on our first soil sample. So we're going to match that to this card. And to me, it looks like we're right about between five and six. Okay, so all the soil has settled from this phosphorus tube head to the bottom. So we're gonna grab some of that clear liquid and continue the next steps. Use one pipette, which is this, to transfer the clear liquid to a second tube. tube. So we don't want any soil, we just want liquid. We're kind of getting some soil. That's okay. Then. Add six drops of phosphorus indicator reagent. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I am dead. Seven. <laughs> yep. Sorry, turning a yellowish color. Now it says add one phosphorus test tablet. Boop. Okay. Cap and mix until the tablet dissolves. A blue color will develop. Okay. Go ahead and cap it and mix it. Well, uh, oh. Keep going till it's dissolved. All right. It's gone. All right, so it's very bluish. No, here, we gotta hold it up to the light. I think it's high. I'm gonna go high. It's not like super duper dark. I would say medium. Next is nitrogen. 
So now, uh, use a clean pipette, that's this one. Baking soda. To transfer clear liquid to a second test tube to avoid agitation of the soil, blah, blah, blah. Okay. We need two of those things, and then we're going to pour it in here. You can do it on the next one. All right, we've got one. Cap it and gently mix. So this is nitrogen. Now we have to wait five minutes for the pink color to develop above the powder line. Okay, so we're gonna wait for that one. Next is the potassium test. So that was this one. Uh, fill second tube to five milliliter line with liquid. Add one potassium indicator tablet. You have to mix? Yep, mix it around until the tab dissolves, it says. So it's kind of a purplish color now. So we're supposed to add drops until it becomes blue. One. one. Keep going. Two. All right, so 18 it is, which is low. So we're very low, well not very low. That would be a 20. So 18 is low in potassium. Okay, so you can see that it went from purple to that blue color. All right, so we just finished testing all of the different elements uh, for our first section. Um, and so now we have to do that seven more times uh, to get all of our different test results. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then at the end, I will share our results with you. All right, I have finished all of our soil samples. It's pretty interesting. We're gonna definitely need to add a lot of fertilizer and compost. We're trying to do things organically. So the fertilizer we'll be adding will be organic and um, mostly just compost. Most of our nitrogen was incredibly low. In fact, this is supposed to be pink if it has high amounts of nitrogen. And as you can see, there's almost no pink to that at all. So pretty much no nitrogen in most of our soil samples. We did have a little bit in one of the pastures where they had horses, um, but oddly enough, in other pastures where they had horses, there was none or almost none. So um, definitely gonna have to remedy that. Our soil pH was anywhere between five and six on this scale which is right here. So between five and six, and that means it's relatively acidic. We want it more down here in the seven range for the plants that we will be planting. Obviously berry bushes and things like that, uh, like acidic soil. So in the areas that we have uh, more acidic, we'll probably do some you know, blueberries and raspberries and things like that. But we're definitely going to have to add some lime to bump up our pH a little bit. So we'll show you in another video how we are amending our soil and all that goes along with that. So thank you for coming along with me on our soil testing day. And that took a really long time. I know this video wasn't that long, uh, but it took me almost all day to do all of these or at least several hours um, because I had to wash out all the test tubes in between and I had to test. Um, I actually ended up testing only six different areas instead of eight because we just didn't want to run out of the solution and we wanted to be able to do it again at another time. So that is it for this and I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll hopefully be able to amend our soil to have great pastures and great garden in the future. See you guys later.